Make way for the ring general, Gunther. Six foot five, nearly 300 pounds of pure malice. The following contest is a fatal five-way extreme rules match. And it's for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Gunter! The ring general has declared the mat sacred and sees this industry as pure sport, meaning there is no room for games and antics. Now, Gunther takes everything so seriously, like he's always scowling. Hey, listen, he takes pride in what he does. It's difficult not to admire the expertise possessed by Gunther. Gunther is so unflinching, as if nothing phases him. The man's impervious to distraction because he's constantly focused on the task at hand. Yeah, it's like watching a machine. Make way for the double champ. And from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Austin Theory. Imagine all the hard work, the training, and the perseverance it takes to win a title in WWE. Now double it, and you can see the magnitude of this man's accomplishment. In WWE, the only thing more difficult than becoming champion is staying champion. And his journey was twice as hard, but the work from here is double too. But if anyone is up to the challenge, it's this guy. The double champ showing off all of his hardware. Arrogance and confidence on the double champ's face, but he's obviously earned it. Well, Mustafa Ali promises you will not forget his name. And from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali! A man who has become virtually obsessed yeah. with not allowing himself to be mislabeled anymore. Major chip on his shoulder. Oftentimes, Mustafa Ali shows he's got more guts than brains, but he is all heart. Well, Ali has faced a lot of adversity in his career, but the one thing we've learned is that Mustafa Ali never stops fighting. The luckiest man in WWE history. Plenty of luck, but plenty of success, too. And from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, Happy Corbin! I am so tired of Happy Corbin running his mouth. He's got to be the most obnoxious person in sports entertainment. Now, it sounds to me like you're just sick with envy. Corbin is a positive force, a true example of what it means to be a winner, not only in WWE, but in life. Despite his despicable behavior, you can't deny his ability. 
There you go, Saxton. Try being objective for once. Corbin's a boxing champion. He won the Andre the Giant Battle Royal. Mr. Money in the Bank, King of the Ring. Shall I go on? Wow, feast your eyes. A one-of-a-kind tight end from Worcester, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 270 pounds, T-Bar. A man who no longer hides his rage behind a mask. Indeed, Saxton, he's become a one-man source of retribution. A lot of unanswered questions about T-Bar in particular, but one thing cannot be denied. This boy ain't right. The WWE Intercontinental title on the line. Perhaps a new chapter will be written in this championship long history.
throwing down the proverbial gauntlet. Where is this going to go next? Boom! Oh, what impact! Got him! I've let Seth's hammer can cause some serious damage. What a forearm! Seth straight into the barricade. Into the barricade. And gets tossed back into the mat. Hooked up. Driven down. And he gets set back into the ring. Nice side headlock applied. Oh. Good, Good measure. Oh, gets put into the barricade. He switches it back around. Oh!